Thank you for watching. My name is Miles J, your Friday Gay of the Week, and I am signing off. Bye bye. Okay, so here's my question to all of you. In the spirit of Backwards Week, um, my question is if you could go back in time, where would you go and why? And it can be anywhere back in time. It could be 1700s to meet Abraham Lincoln or one of those places. I don't care where it is. Just tell me. Because people want to go back to some strange times. Personally, for me, I would like to go back. Shoot, I like it now. I can't complain. So, yeah. Because we love you and we need you back. Please, be safe and come back to us in one piece. But wherever you are, don't know where you guys are. Jeff, for Nima, and uh, it was a little scary. Um, I don't know why they weren't here this week. A tear for the gays who weren't here this week. On to the questions. So Ryan asked, if I won a large sum of money, from the lottery, no less, what would I do with it? Uh... Well, Ryan, if I won a large sum of money from the lottery, and it would have to be a large sum, like large, there's so many places that to where that money could go to. I think first and foremost, it'd go to, uh, I know this may sound a little selfish, but I would need to get a new camera. Like, so bad. Because the camera I have now, my poor baby is dying, and I just need a new camera. A nice pretty one. I'd probably buy the one that you have. Even though I wouldn't really know how to work it, so... We need a book for that. And then I might go and dabble it, probably stuff it in a bank account. You know, stuff it right up in there. I had a teacher once who said, if you ever had a million dollars, you stuff it in a bank account and watch the interest grow and blah, blah, blah. And then I kind of zoned out after that. Shoot, if I ever really needed it, which I hope I wouldn't, I just let it sit there until I really needed it. Yeah, I like to save because I'm a cheap bastard. Okay, so next question. The next question comes from Scott and he asks, what movie would I want to see a sequel for? And to be quite honest, I'm gonna have to think on that one too. Uh, uh, oh, I have a perfect idea. Brokeback Mountain 2, Going Commando. I would really love to see the, um, a sequel to this one movie called Hard Candy. That would be amazing. Um, so, so far, I've learned that it is backwards week from Ryan, and I want to say thank you, you know, I really am honored to be here like you just don't know. Ooh, this weekend, I'm going to be knocked out. Oh, and by the way, this weekend is prom weekend, so uh, good thing that uh, I'm not going to prom or else I'd be so dead. Since I didn't get any sleep, I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I'm kind of like, I'm not tired at all, strangely. So, I am a little delirious though, if you couldn't tell, you know, from the leaning and rocking and changing of the accents and stuff. I think I might be schizophrenic. Okay, so this whole week has been so freaking stressful for me. I mean, last night I didn't even go to sleep until 4 o'clock in the freaking morning, so... This is the first time in my entire, you know, short-lived, young teenage life that I've ever had to do something this stressful. I mean, I've had rehearsals after school for this play called The Wiz. Um, some of you may heard of that movie. It's just another take on The Wizard of Oz. Basically, it's a more, more soulful version of The Wizard of Oz. So, yeah. I'm in that, and I play as the Tin Man. Yeah. I am not even going to lie, I was pissed every time I had to go to rehearsals because I knew it was just going to be stress, 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 stress. By the way, our show's going to be playing the 15th, so if you live in Vegas, you know where to go. No, I'm just kidding, really though, don't want to get sued for that. And that is because it is 7 o'clock p.m. right now, and you must be wondering, why am I filming this so late? Hello everybody, it's Miles J, your Friday Gave of the Week here, and I'm losing my light. 